Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I'm your host, Alma Banks, and I'll be accompanying you on tonight's journey through the horror files. But first, a word from our sponsors. Do you need an umbrella, but also a pen and a fan? How about a flashlight? And what about a pocket knife? You can't forget about the mini satellite tower. Well, we've got the one thing for you. Buy the Penarella, the all-in-one pen where we combined all the gadgets you could ever need in one small object. Let's hear some reviews from real customers who bought the Penarella. Hi, I'm Sophia. I decided to pen- buy the Penarella because of the mini fan inside. It always gets so hot in my office in the summer, so when I heard you can get a pen with the fan, I was all for it. Little did I know there was an umbrella inside. I decided to click the red button on the side of the pen in the middle of my meeting, and an umbrella popped out and struck a hole in the roof. That's the exact day I got fired. Cool. What about you, Casper? You can never be too safe in the big city. I bought the Penarella for one reason only, so I could use this gadget as a weapon to defend myself. Wow, it's great that you have the Penarella at your service. Looks like we've got another incoming call. Yep, it's me, Kelly. I would say that I bought the Penarella for the flashlight. I know that you can get a flashlight anywhere, but this one is extra special. My one concern would be that. Thank you so much, Kelly. We're going for positive reviews here. You can buy the Penarella at your local Target parking lot next June for a whooping $45.25. I'm so happy to be in this program. I have so much to say. First, I would like to thank my parents. This is not an award show, Susie. Yes, I know. My dog is actually the one with the review. I'm just, it's translated. Looks like we're out of time. Remember to buy Penarella today, the all-in-one Pen, where we combined all the gadgets you could ever need in one small object. And now, a simple family move with some unexpected guests. Take it away. What a beautiful house. Come here, boy. Ugh, this place sucks. Emily, we've just got here. How do you already hate it? Just a weird feeling. I don't know. Yeah, well, I get a weird feeling at the morgue. That doesn't mean I won't like it there. What's a morgue? Oh, nothing, sweetie. You'll be there someday. Grandma won't live forever, right, honey? Yeah, whatever. Listen to your mother. We should start unpacking. What was that? Don't worry, Amy. It's probably just the wind. Ew, nature is gross. You're gross. Shut up. It's not too late to sell you to the circus. Kids, stop fighting. It's bad for the skin. Sure is. Every wrinkle is a fight I've won. Wow, you must have won a whole lot of fights. Okay, there's definitely something out there. Well, whatever it is, I suggest we sacrifice the airhead. Amy, go ahead. Mom, don't be mean to my wife. Your marriage is a sham. Get over it. I blame Emily. Who the hell are you? Want to see my taxidermy collection? You know. Yes, please. What's taxidermy? It's what we'll do to Grandma when she's gone. Where's Grandma gonna go? Your puppy would look great taxidermied. No, thank you. Sorry, where are my manners? I'm Kaysen Johnson. This is my wife, Amy. Hello there. I'm Emily, their daughter, unfortunately. I'm Timmy, Kaysen Carson Johnson, and that's Fido. Or? And I'm Granny. But you can call me anytime. Wink, wink. You're supposed to wink, not say wink. Well, it works. Not that you would know. She's 16. Well, when I was 16, I was married to my third husband. Wait, what? I'm not even sure your father is your father. Anyway, let's get to unpacking. This house is beautiful. Oh, I just love the curtains. I'm gonna go check out my room. Woo! Up the stairs, in the room. Be careful, Timmy. My room is awesome! Woo! Hey, what's your name? I'm a ghost, and I died in this room. Wow, that's cool. You want to play tag? Aren't you scared? Not really. Woo! Fear me! Mommy says to use inside voices. I don't like your mommy. But she gives me hugs and candy. Woo! What does woo mean? It's what ghosts do. Wait, you're a ghost? 
Yes. Oh, in that case, ooh, back at you. That's not how it works. Oh, well, do you still want to play tag? I'm leaving. Whoosh. Bye, ghost girl. Hi, honey. How do you like your new room? I love it. I met a ghost. Well, that's fancy, ain't it? Come help with unloading the truck. Come on, hon. Let's go help your father. You too, Emily. Uh, no, I don't want to. Well, I didn't want to be a mother, but here we are. Well, I wanted to be a mother, but instead I had Kaysen. So I guess no one's a winner. I'm going to my room. Bye, losers. Sweetie, don't call your mother a loser. That's very rude. What else? Time to unpack my books. Um, what is happening? <laughs> what do you want, loser? I want your soul. I don't have one. What? Can you not? I'm trying to listen to music. It's distracting. You should fear me. I could kill you in an instant. Ugh, I'm totally tweeting about this. Creepy old man trying to kill me, lol. <laughs> Don't ruin my rep on socials, man. As if you have a rep. Ooh, take that back. <sighs> Hashtag obsessed much? Stop that. Um, no. That's it. I'm leaving. Bye-bye, old man. <laughs> How was your room? I saw some old dude. How old? Too old. Nothing's ever too old for me. Ew. Mom, that's disgusting. Yes, please stop. I hate this family. I love my family. And you wonder why I have favorites. I'm gonna go set up my office. Alright, dear. Bark. I love it here. Huh, there must be a draft in here. Wow, all this paper is really flying around. Ooh. Well, I'll be, that's a downright ghost. Ooh. You know what? I actually have a great sales pitch for ghosts that might be perfect for you to invest in. Um, um, um I, I don't know about that. Well, tell me more about yourself. Maybe I can get you on the Case and Johnson wagon of success. Well, well, um, I, I, um, no one asked me that before. Um, I'm a ghost, and my name's James. I used to be a paper salesman. Well, darn, I guess I should give you my sales pitch then. You'd be perfect for this project. Um, um, I don't think so. I, ha I have a hunting game. <sighs> Come on. Um, I, I don't think so. I ha um, um, no, thanks. Where'd he go? I guess some people just can't appreciate a good sales pitch. No one cares about paper, Dad! Honey, I was thinking that we should invite that neighbor over for dinner tonight. I don't know. He seems like kind of a weirdo. Well, I just want to be a good neighbor. I agree with the lady. Jesus, Mother of Christ, where did you come from? Oh, hello, Gerald. Would you like to come over for dinner? I would love to. How'd you get in our house? The front door. Oh, that's nice. You can't just walk into our home. Well, you shouldn't have left the door open now. A murderer could have walked in. I think one did. Is he referring to me? Because you're not much of a looker yourself, buddy. Kaysen, don't be rude. Gerald, would you like to have something to drink? Some tea, maybe? No, but thank you, ma'am. I have to get back to the cat I've been stuffing. The what? Kaysen, stop. People have different hobbies. You have fun, Gerald. Bye bye now. See you at dinner. Goodbye. I'm going to get dinner started. Mm, what should I make? Oh, my favorite meatloaf. Guests love when I make that. Do 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 do. Cooking time. Hello. 
Oh dear, you startled me. <coughs> oh honey, don't cry. Let me hold you. Where's my mommy? Well, I don't think you've seen your mommy in a long time considering your hair looks like that. I would never in my right mind let my child go out with loose pigtails. I should call CPS. Do you know where my mommy is? Because I do. <laughs> where is she? In hell! Oh dear, do you need a cough drop? Your voice sounds a little hoarse. Need? Your soul! You shouldn't frown like that. It causes wrinkles. Don't you fear me? Well, not really. Because you should. <laughs> I think it's nap time for you, little miss. Let go of me, you foul woman. Shh, rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. Amy, did you have another one while I wasn't looking? No, I found this one in the kitchen. Isn't that where you find all the children? Granny, go upstairs and rest your back hurts, remember? I don't want to go upstairs. That hurts me. I need a rest from all this stupidity. Um... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, never mind. This one's dead. Oh, cram it. I'm not dead. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Wait, do I know Linda? Bert, well, I haven't seen you since our first wedding. How's the newest husband treating you? Well, he's dead, but that's how I like him. Oh, I missed your sass, Linda. And I missed your ugly face. So, how did you die? Um, well, I was pushed out of a limo on our honeymoon, remember? Oh, that was crazy. Woo, the good old days. You know, Beatrice had a bad fall last winter. Oh, dear. I mean, good riddance. She was a pain in my... Bark. Granny? Oh, pumpkins, you scared me. What were you going to say? Beatrice was a pain in my tuchus. Oh, okay. Dinner is ready. Come on, dear, let's go see what monstrosity your mother has concocted. Okay, Granny. Everyone takes a seat, and Gerald will be here in a minute. I'm already here. Stop walking in our house. Well, then how am I gonna get in? Kaysen, sit down. This food looks gross. You're gross. You both look like accidents, which you are. Happy accidents. Wait, what? Let's dig in, shall we? Bon gap teeth. Are we not gonna talk about what mom just said? No. Listen to your mother. In my family, we raised each other so there was no need for mothers. Tell me more, it seems interesting. No, please don't say anything. In my family, we would also get rid of the weakest. Not murder them or anything crazy. Just leave them out in the woods. Let them fend for themselves. Most didn't survive. Maybe we could do that with Grandma. If anyone's getting left behind, it's Amy. Mom, stop. Woo! Leave or die! What in the name of Redneck Jesus was that? It's just the pipes. It's an old house. We're not, We're not pipes. pipes! Woo! I know for a certain those are not pipes. And I know for a certain I should have given Case and the brother so he wouldn't be so stupid. But oh well. Oh my lord, that could have killed me. Don't be such a lame -o. It was like a million miles from your head. I have come to take your soul. What the? Art. Please don't swear. Timmy is only six. That's the Antichrist right there. You will all die. Are you seeing this? What in the name of- where did all this paper come from? Oh darn it, I got a paper cut. It's just a draft. No, it's not! Hi, uh, uh, I'm James. Demon! Son of the devil himself. Woo! We are here for your souls. Excuse me, we were trying to have a nice dinner. Could you come back tomorrow? Woo! You're all crazy! Mark, mark.
We're the crazy ones. You do taxes derby for fun, you psycho. And you have ghosts in your house. Ah! Grandma? Linda? Is she dead? I think so. Free at last. Oh, finally, the wicked witch is dead. Does this mean we have to go to the morgue now? She's dead. She she died. She's dead. Don't look so surprised. I'm 90. Granny! You're a ghost! God damn it! Oh, well, welcome back, Linda. Oh, shut it, Amy. And you, Kaysen. I expected more from my own son. But oh well, I got my revenge. You'll have to deal with me forever. That's it. We're moving. Yay! Ah. I don't know what to say. Burke, um, does any does anyone um we all just flow along in the empty darkness of space, never once asking ourselves, is that a squirrel? Bark, bark. Go get it, Fido. Did the dog just talk? It's not the craziest thing that I've seen. I don't wanna know. Wink wink. Well, I guess we should pack up the car again and get going. This is all too much for me. I'm leaving. Bye, Gerald. We'll miss you. No, we don't. No, we won't. Fido, come on. We have to get packing. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Mom. I guess it is. But I like it here with Bert. Why don't I say my goodbyes? Come on, guys. Let's say goodbye to Granny. Timmy, you are such a sweetheart. And I will miss you with my whole non-beating heart. You better come visit, and I'll make you some of my fudge. <laughs> Bye, Granny. I love you. Emily, you were an accident, just like your father. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. But forever remember, you won't get far in life if you act like a... Bye. Amy, you could have done better. That's it. Goodbye. Bye, Linda. And Kaysen. My dear, sweet Kaysen. You deserve so much, yet I give you so little. And you know what? I don't regret it. You were a disappointment. But I love you anyway. I love you too, Mom. Well, goodbye, everyone. I'll miss some of you. Goodbye! Bye! Bye. 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 I feel like I just watched an episode of Scooby-Doo, if you know what I'm saying. Coming up, an innocent trip turned wrong after a short break. Hello! I am Alex Farngard, creator of our best-known product, Alex's Glowing Mac and Cheese. Today we're going to see how much people love my product. Not only is it affordable, it is very tasty. Oh look, there's a person now. What do you want? Do you like macaroni and cheese? Uh, not really. Great! What's your name, by the way? Uh, Greg F Well, Greg, I have the thing for you. My patented glowing macaroni and cheese. Why is it glowing? No need to worry, just try it. Okay. So what do you think? Uh, I feel absolutely awful. Yeah, that tends to happen. Have a good day. What? Another satisfied customer. Our patented glow is made through polonium-227, the most radioactive isotope known to man. What? That is seriously dangerous. I know! Oh, look, a woman and her child. Excuse me, miss. Dear Lord. Hello, can I help you? Hello, mister. What are your names? I am Samantha. Cassie. Well, Cassie, do you like mac and cheese? Yes, I love it. Do you want to try mine? Yes, of course I do. Wait a minute, you aren't actually... I am. Go ahead! Mommy, I don't feel good. Cassie! What did you do? Two more satisfied customers. We need to call an ambulance. No, they are fine. Alex, stop. Oh, what, Julie? You need to stop. Why? You're gonna kill someone. No, I'm not. Oh, look, a pregnant woman. Alex, no. Hello, miss, what is your name? I am Mandy, can I help you? Do you like mac and cheese? No. Try mine. Okay, w what's happening? What do you feel? I feel... That's it. What? I'm calling the cops. Well, keep in mind, viewers, you need to go to your local military base and pay a total of...
$25,000 for a box. And because the FDA requires that we say it, do not eat if you are a child, pregnant woman, animal, or alive at all. Side effects may include radiation sickness and death. Have a good day. Someone called the cops. There's a dead woman here. You shut up. Thank you for sponsoring tonight's show. Your new favorite horror movie screaming for help starting right now. Hey, girlies, I was wondering if you wanted to go on a bike ride today. Yes, I'm down. Heck yes. Let's go. For sure. We're going on a bike ride. Okay, great. Let's meet at the spot in 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Hey, girlies, ready to ride? Let's go. Hey, Adriana, how's it been going? It's been fine. I'm super tired. I ran the mile today in PE. Dang, that sucks. And then you still wanted to ride bikes? Hey, Sally, how's your new puppy? She's doing really good, but she won't stop eating everything in the house, though. Wow. My dog is old. All he does is just lay on the couch. Whoa, look at that house. Sally, what are you doing? Come back. Did you guys hear that? Help me, help me. Sally, please don't go in. She needs help. I can't just leave her here. So you're just going to go in there alone? What if she has a gun and tries to kill you? You don't know who it is. It's fine. How bad can it be? Sally, no. What are you thinking? Hello? Hello? No, Sally, you're crazy. You don't want to go in there. Guys, I'll be fine. Guys, we can't leave her in there by herself. Well, there's no way I'm going in there. Again, I'll be fine. Do you think uh, we should help her? There's no way I'm going in there. Are you seriously that stupid to go in there? Come on, are you a little bit nervous or anything? You can. I'm trying not to die. Okay, Alondra, you're right. We need to be there if anything happens. If anything happens, do you think there's something going to happen? Hey, you never know. Bzzz. Ow, stupid bee. Are you okay? Eh, yeah, she's fine. She'll get over it. Okay, rude. Adriana, you're fine. Now let's go inside. Okay, I guess. Let's go. Finally, come on, you guys. I want to look around. I swear, we die, I'm blaming Sally. That's fair, I guess. Guys, where is this person? They can't be that far away. I don't know, but I'm staying close to the door so that I can bolt if anything happens. Um, okay, then see what a great friend you are. Okay, where should we check first? The kitchen? I'm down. Let's see what snacks they have. Yeah, hopefully Popcorn. they have one. I've been craving it all day. Um, let's not check the cabinets. What if something pops out? Agreed. Let's go somewhere else. The bathroom? Ew. You can go in there by yourself. There's no way I'm going in there. Sally, it's a bathroom. Grow up. I think we have to go just to make sure. Plus, you wanted to go in this house to begin with. Still not going. I'm not changing my mind. I guess you're right. I mean, what can be hiding in there? Toilet paper? Guys, did you hear that? Hear what? I didn't hear anything. Me neither. God, Alondra, you can't be serious. You're going crazy. Sally, shut up. I hear it coming from somewhere. Wait, shh. I can hear it too now. You guys are weird. I can't hear... Oh my god, what was that? This was a bad idea. I want to leave now. Guys, wait. It's coming from upstairs. You guys are insane. The sound isn't too far. I say we check it out. I'm going up with you or without you guys. Man, I just wanted to go for a bike ride. Come on, guys. Let's go. I don't even know why I'm friends with you guys. Guys, I'm up here. It's so dark up here. I don't like this one bit. There's so many rooms. I don't know where the noise is coming from. I have a bad feeling about this. I say we split up and check each room. Are you out of your mind? There is no way I'm going alone. No way. Quipping will was. Okay, I say Vicky and I go together. The rest of you guys can split up. 
Did you just hear what I said? I'm not going alone. Fine, I guess I'm stuck with Ellie now. Wow, what's that supposed to mean? Guys, quit. Let's try to find the noise where it came from. Okay, me, Sally, and Ellie are going to search this side of the house, and you guys can go to the opposite side. Got it. Girls, check this out. Whoever lives here has, like, three libraries full of books. Oh my god, that scared me. Hey, do you think this book has to do with the girl you heard? I have no idea. What does it say it's about? It's nothing much, really. I think it's about voodoo or something lame like that. Creepy! Stop being such a baby. It's probably nothing. I think we should go back. That book fell out of nowhere. Yeah, maybe they had more luck. Whoa, I hear something coming from the closet. Be careful. You don't know what could be in there. Chill. I know what I'm doing. I'll just open it slowly, and. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. You heard me. I've been I've been stuck in here for so long. They probably didn't find anything either. Um, who are you? Whoa, she's like floating. Is that a ghost? Okay, funny prank, guys. There's no way this girl's go girl is real, right? Ellie, I am real. I have been stuck here and I need to get help. I need to get out. How do you know my name? Okay, I'm starting to not like this. Um, um, I'm gonna go home. Alondra, Vicky, it's okay to be- don't be frightened. I'm not going to harm you guys. What is going on here? Why are you trapped? The door was open. Wait, how- how did you guys get in? I- I'm not able to open do any doors. Her head. It fell off. Guys, the door. I can't open it. Did you hear that? It sounded like screaming. I think we should check it out. The other girls might be in danger. Okay, let's go, but what are we going to use to do Maybe we can use these books. Wait, I think I found something. It's a letter opener. What are we going to do with that? Open their mail? It's sharp. It can do some damage. Okay, let's hurry. I think they're behind the door. Open it. Sally, Adriana, the door! Where were you guys? We ran into this room and found the ghost girl. Bent her head off without warning. Can we just leave? I don't want to be here anymore. Yes, let's go. Now. Nobody gets to leave. I can't be alone again. She couldn't have closed all the exits. Right. Check the window and door. They won't open. We're all still trapped. Why don't we just try to push through the door? Okay, this is a horrible idea. You would just end up hurting yourself. No, it could save our lives. Our lives wouldn't have been in danger if Sally didn't decide to come into this stupid house. Hey, it's not my fault that I was curious. Yes, it is, Sally. We even warned you. Come on, if I didn't stop, we would have just gone on a boring bike ride. Isn't a boring bike ride better than being trapped in a haunted house? Okay, can we stop and just figure a way out? Fine. How are we going to get out? We should climb out the window. You will never leave, and if you try, then you will die! We are never going to stop trying to just kill us already. That's never being shown to my children, that's for sure. How about we just forget about it and take a short break? Did you read a book you love and want to start over? Yeah. Or watch the movie you want to watch again? Yeah. Well, I've got the product for you. It's the forget about it. I recently got into a bad breakup, so I used the forget about it. You can also use the forget about it on other people. I cheated on my wife, so I used to forget about it on my wife. And now you can buy the forget about it plus for large crowds of people to forget about it. I wanted to rob a bank, so I used forget about it plus. I used to forget about it to forget about all my mistakes that make it hard for me to sleep at night. But now I can't remember any of it. Ma'am, what do you like most? About to forget about it? I I have no idea. I forget about it. That's the spirit. But Johnny, how does the forget about it work? You just think of what you want to forget and press the button and bam! Wow! I forget about it. Wait, what's my name? Side effects may include dizziness, nausea, vomiting, paralysis, forgetting your entire life at this point, COVID, but in death. Please do not buy this product if you suffer from life. Womp, womp, womp. You can find the forget about at any local drugstore in the back alley by the Denny's for three easy payments of 10.99.
cash only. Otherwise, forget about it. And if you see Dominic, tell him I'll make him forget about it if he tries to rip me off again. Just fascinating. I should get my sister one for Christmas. Now let's see how technology can lead to a better demise. Of course, Humphrey joined the call first. She always has to be ready for school. Of course, I want to get into Harvard, Jay. Why are you so worked up about a school? It's not like it would change your life if you didn't get into Harvard. Uh, yes, it would, Brittany. I wouldn't be able to become a lawyer otherwise. Guys, what should I wear today? Why are you so concerned about your outfit, Sarah? You can't leave that your house, so why worry about how you look? Coming from you, that says a I wake up with a natural glow. I don't know what you mean. When you're kitchen? Yeah, why do you play baseball? You know they cut down trees when they make your bats, right? You realize we use metal bats, right? Hey guys, how's your day then? Ow, my ears. Do you have to come into class screaming and eating hot Cheetos, Rebecca? Yes, I do, Humphrey, especially when I have tea to spill. You have some tea to spill? What type? Nothing major. Uh, what was I going to say? Honestly, I'm thankful you forgot what you are going to say. Okay, class. Class will be starting shortly. Make sure you have your materials. Why do you always hate it when I talk, Sarah? Why do you have to be so rude? Are we really going to start an argument this early in the morning? Yes, let's not, please. You two shut up. It's like 10 or something. That's early enough, so shut up, Rebecca. Oh, my hydro. Just be happy. Anyways, I can't wait for the game tonight. It's the biggest game of the year. Yeah, I'm not going. I have to study because I have a calculus test that's on Tuesday. I have to fill out all applications for colleges, and I have to write essays. It's Friday, Humphrey. The calc test isn't until Tuesday, and you already have an A in the class, so what's the big deal? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? If I fail to even get a B on one test, do you even know what happens? Harvard doesn't accept me. Then I'll be forced to go to Stanford, and I'm never going to a school that's, that has that low of a reputation. Dude, chill. You need to calm down. Yeah, what's up with you, Humphrey? Is everything all right? <sighs> yes, all is fine. Can we get class going now? I think it would be a great time to start. Glad to hear you have your books ready, Humphrey. Please turn to actually have some piping hot tea. Oh, my. What is it now, Rebecca? Can we not? Yeah, let's not. Shut up, Jay. I know you've been talking about me behind my back. Oh, that type of tea. What now? That's a bold claim for something unfounded. Unfounded? How is it unfounded? I haven't done that, for starters. Yes, you have. I have the screenshot. Surprised you have enough room on your phone for more photos after all those selfies you take. Shut up, Humphrey. Okay. Screenshots from whom? You don't need to know. I do, or you have no proof. There can't be a smoking gun without some fingerprints. Okay, Susie. Susie, you really think I would talk to her? Yeah, you would. I can post the screenshots if needed. Okay. Where are you getting at with all this? I need you to stop. Susie isn't talking to me anymore. And? You just don't get it. Gosh, I will kill you. Yeah, sure you will, Miss Almighty. What are you gonna do? Choke me? Shoot me? Stab me? You don't know where I live. Yeah, I do. Lane went to your house sometime and she told me where you are. Okay, and what are you gonna do about it? You know what I'm going to do. <laughs> she ain't gonna do nothing. Did you need to rile her up like that? Yeah, I've never seen her that mad. I didn't say anything wrong. I was just stating the truth. And what is the truth, Gay? Eh? That she yells all the time, is annoying, and smells of hot Cheetos 24-7? <laughs> I wouldn't deny that. Gay. Brittany. I didn't say anything. Jay did. I have plenty to say about Rebecca. Yeah, I've heard a lot about her. Why do you think I don't talk to her? That is pretty harsh, Brittany. Yeah, ditto. I don't care how it sounds. It's just how it is. All I know is my guitar sounds better than her rumors. Honestly. But I have nothing to worry about, right? She was just joking. 
Honestly, I don't know if she was joking. She seemed very mad and determined to kill you. Just be careful, but you should have nothing to worry about. I mean, look at the positive in this situation. She left the class so we don't have to hear her chip bag crumpling. Okay, now that Rebecca is gone, can we stop talking about outside school stuff and get back to work? What a party killer. Why do you always only focus on schoolwork? You're such a nerd. We were finally talking about something interesting for once, and you just want to get back to boring work? Has no one been listening to me? I need to make it into Harvard. Now, can you shut up so I can learn? <laughs> Whatever, nerd. I'm going to get back to watching my show. Okay, class. Head on over to Google Classroom and... Yo, you guys, I'm freaking out. There's no way she really knows where I live, right? Well, I mean, she sounded pretty serious. Oh, God, she's going to kill me. Jay, Rebecca isn't going to kill you. It's very improbable. Speaking of probability... Oh, yeah, she is, man. You're screwed. Stop playing with me, Brittany. She's not going to do anything to you. I bet she just left because she ran out of hot Cheetos. You know that girl loves her hot Cheetos. Yeah, you're right. Pro she probably just went to the store. Who cares what Rebecca is doing? We can we can finally start class. We're running out of time. Humphrey, what do you mean, who cares? I do. She said she was going to kill me. Uh, like I said, who cares? I just want to get some work done. I agree with Humphrey. We're running out of time. Humphrey, the teacher's pet. Back at it again. I'm not a teacher's pet. You're such a teacher's pet. Come on, it's easy to see. Focus on something else for once, Humphrey. Why not a sport or hobby? I cheer to get away from school. Now that I think about it, you kind of are. Ha! Even Miss Appleton thinks so. I just want to do some work. Is that too much to ask for? I'm wondering where she went, because she has been gone for a long time. Probably to get another bag of chips or back to sleep. I hope she recycled her first bag of chips. It will save so many animals from dying because of plastic that doesn't get recycled. Sarah, we don't need to get a lecture on how to save animals right now. Okay, I was just going to inform you on it so you guys actually learn something today in class. I think she's overreacting about the screenshots. They can't be that bad. I'm kind of getting worried because she hasn't come back in a long time. But, Jay, I don't think you have to be scared. I hope you're right. Okay, class, focus your attention back to me so we can start class again. Today we're going to be learning about probability. Probability is the chance of something happening. For example, considering it's sunny today, there's likely a 0% chance of rain. What's the probability of Rebecca coming to my house and killing me? Jay, you'll probably hear her Cheeto bag before she killed you. It would seem that way, though she has been gone for a while. Just calm down, Jay. What was that? Hello? You being paranoid, that's what it is. I bet. Could have been a baseball hitting the floor. You keep spare baseballs? They're signed. All the ones I keep. Wow, you're a bigger nerd than Humphrey. I'm not a nerd. That's not true. It is, Humphrey, and no, I'm not. No one can beat a man that carries a TI-84 in his back pocket in nerdiness. I guess that makes sense. Nothing can beat the trusty TI-84, though. A lot can beat a TI-84. Yes. Too much stuff can beat it. How about a laptop can do the same thing as a TI-84? Ah, uh, but those aren't as portable bag those are too big though not really sure they are whoa who are you what are you doing hey get back jay jay are you okay hey guys i'm back rebecca what did you do nothing i went away to calm down calm down as in killing jay what no well, it just sounded like Jay was hit by something, and now he's gone silent. You know, the whole... I didn't do it. I went to, to the store to get some more Cheetos. That's a lie. You killed Jay. No, I didn't. If you didn't kill him, then I'm the Prince of England. It is too convenient that he was murdered, and you just so happened to come back at the same time. Yeah, Rebecca, something doesn't seem right. You know, I always knew you were crazy, but murder? That's a whole new level, even for you. 
All of you guys need to chill out. Yes, I got angry at Jay and yelled at him. And yes, now he's laying down on his bedroom floor with the dent in his head the size of a fry- frying pan. But I don't see the connection. It wasn't me. You literally just explained the entire crime scene. Uh, Rebecca, how do you even know that he was in his bedroom? And how do you know it was a frying pan? It could have been literally anything else. Yeah, you know too much. Uh, that's just because I'm psychic. The hot cheetos are finally getting to her head. You see, according to my calculations, the probability of Rebecca having killed Jay is 100%. I don't think this is the time to be calculating anything. Yeah, this is very serious, and we all witnessed it. Look, guys, I didn't do anything. I just casually happened to know exactly what happened to Jay. Yeah, totally believable. Let me just search up and see what happens when someone kills someone with a frying pan. I didn't kill him. Um, sounds a lot like you did. Yeah, this can't be just a coincidence. Yeah, there's just too many things that overlap. See, if you guys had just listened to me and I talked about the tea and actually listened during the class, baby, this would have never happened. Okay, you know what, Humphrey? Just shut up. Yeah, we have such a bigger problem on our hands. Yeah, so guys, uh, I'm back and uh, Rebecca, the cops are three minutes away. What the heck, Humphrey? What did I ever do to you? Why'd you call the cops? I'm turning off my location, running away to a secret location, logging off of all social media, and changing my name. Sarah, I want you to keep my streaks on Snapchat, but never turn on my Snap Map. Also, don't show your face, because then you'll be questioned. Don't tell anyone, or else you're going to see Jay again. I know I only have three minutes, but I have to leave. Whatever you do, frame someone else. Like, you know the girl I hate from school? Oh, crap. I gotta go. Bye. I gotta go. Bye. What a class period. Who knew technology could cause such a bitter demise? I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna go order some customized pizza. Have you ever been disappointed with takeout pizza? Well, we have the perfect solution for you. Our company is a customizable pizza delivery company that ships your favorite pizzas right to your door. Just simply choose the crust and ingredients you desire, add them to your car, and it'll be at your door ready to cook within days. For only $34.99, your pizza is a fun new way to make it a cheap choice. Shipping and handling is only $4.99, and we are not responsible for itching, rashes, and even death! So, get yours today at gogopizza.com. You won't be disappointed. That's right, at gogopizza.com. It's only $34.99, plus shipping and handling. Go buy yours today. Yay! That pizza was delicious. I also heard that Sally just went... I hope they find her. Ugh, I hate doing homework. I mean, who even invented homework in the first place? I don't even understand what I'm supposed to do. Maybe Michaela does. Let me call her. Hello? Hey, what you doing? I'm working on the, on the project Mrs. B assigned. I don't understand anything. It's something about flying giraffes or some other animal. <laughs> Not at all. You have to write a hypothesis on what would happen if animals from Savannah were all to have wings. What would happen to the food chain? Oh, I see. So pretty much if a lion were to have wings, how would they catch? Um, I gotta call you back. What was that sound? Are, are you okay? Nothing. Everything's good. Wait, wh- what's going on? Bye. <laughs> catch you later. Everything will be fine. Is someone there? Where are they? Where are they? Wait, is someone there? Ugh, where do I hide? Um, oh, under my bed. Right, the parents left the girl here. How did I not think of that? Right, better go follow her before she ruins my plans. I just need to keep calm. I know you're here somewhere. Come out, come out. You can't hide there for long. 
Do you think we should check on Sally? We haven't left her home alone for this long before. Sure, I'll call her. That's weird. She's not picking up. Maybe I should call her? Nope. No answer. Do you think she's okay? Maybe we should leave early. Are you sure? I mean, honey, she's 13. Maybe she's doing something else right now. Uh, I don't think so, Kirk. I have an unsettling feeling in my chest. Let's just check the backyard cameras on our home security app, just to be sure. Okay, whatever makes you feel better. Hmm. That's weird. I can't see anything. I think the camera's broke, but I hear dogs barking in the background. Let me see. Oh no, I hope nothing bad has happened to her. The dogs never bark like that in her neighborhood. Maybe she maybe she's just doing something she's not supposed to and doesn't want us to know. Now, Kirk, our daughter does not make such noises in her room at night to make all the dogs start barking like that. She is not a troublemaker. We need to call someone. Should we call the police, then? I'm calling them right now. Hello? This is the police department of... Hi, yes, I was calling to ask for someone to come check on my daughter. And you need to call the police for that? Yes, if something has happened to her, I want authorities there. Now, my address is 174 Red Street. Okay, can't you just go and check on your daughter yourself? Or at least ask her what she's doing to make sure we aren't wasting our time? What did the police say? They said that they're, they're on their way and we shouldn't be worried. They also said that they're going to check on her. Right, officer? Yes. Well, now I am worried. We're leaving now. Wait up. Well, we're here. Should we wait for the parents? I don't think so. They called us to come and check on their daughter. Mm. Would you look at that? Oh, really? Maybe you should look. Officer, tell us what you saw. Actually, we were um, waiting for you to arrive. We're here now. Aren't you supposed to investigate? That's your job after all. Yes, it is. Arthur, let's go look around the house. You go from the front door and I will go from the back. Hey, did you hear that? Sounded like some footsteps to me. Should we go check it out? Already there. Why does he always get the fun part? What are you doing just standing there? Go after them. I'm going, I'm going. Come check this out. What is it, John? Right here, the window is broken. That's why the camera wasn't working. Some glass caught caught in it. Please don't touch anything or try to investigate yourselves. We will be right back. I'll go look in the front again. Sounds good. I'll go inside. Wow, and I'm just supposed to stand here? Yeah, it's up to the police now. John, I think you might want to take a look at this. I found something that might give us a lead. What is it? A knife on the front lawn. A uh, knife? I told you something was wrong. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Kurt, come look. Take a look. What is his officer? Maybe we should speed this up a tad. Well, while we're investigating, we found this knife. Now, it isn't any knife. This is a kitchen knife. Based on all of the other knives in your kitchen, we can see that the intruder must have been surprised by something and was in a rush. They must have taken the knife off the wall as well as your girl and run out the door. He or she dropped the knife on your lawn and went somewhere that way. If we take a closer look, we can see that the intruders was most likely male. The surface area of the grass is squished in a size 11 men's shoes size. Unless it was a woman with very big feet, we can conclude that your intruder was a man. You can get all that information based on a knife. Yep, that's our job after all. Okay, well, what are you waiting for? Go after him. Kurt, relax. We first need to figure out where he went. Quick, over there. That's the intruder. Get in the car and drive after him. Now! All right, John, let's go. What about us? Never mind. Forget it. They're too far away.
Arthur, can you see the license plate from here? Yes, I can. Good. Write it down somewhere. We c wouldn't want to lose track of them right from the beginning. Watch out. He took a tight right. I see him. Speed up. I'm trying. You better hurry before it's too late. Wait a minute. Why is he slowing down? I don't know, but stay close. Check on Google Maps where we are. Okay. We are in a very sketchy, abandoned golf course with lots of trees. I can see the trees. Thank you. He stopped. Well, let's get out of the car and find out where he's going. Keep a low profile. I knew I shouldn't have messed with that house. I had a bad feeling about it, but I still went. At least not everything was a total fail. I have an unconscious girl. I need to hurry, though, before the police arrives. Hands up. Drop your weapons. This is the local police department. Do not move, or we will. Shoot. Oh, great. All I needed was for this to happen. Run! Oh, why is this girl so heavy? Shoot, the police are catching up. Ouch, stupid tree root. Why did he have to be there? I feel dizzy. Finally, we caught up. And he's unconscious. That's a plus. Well, well pick him up. We'll bring him back to Kurt. I'll take the girl. Yep, let's get back to the house. Finally, they arrived. Oh, the officer is carrying Sally. Here, she had a bit of a rough night. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, Sally needs some rest now. Good night. Hold on, Arthur, would you like to explain what happened? Sure. So after going in a high-speed chase for quite some time, the intruder stopped at an abandoned golf course and started running away with your girl. We had just gone after him when he tripped on a tree stump, which was a bit stupid and funny at the same time. Because of this, we picked him up unconscious. We brought him here, and we can reveal to you who the intruder is, if you'd like us to. Ah, yes. The moment of truth. The intruder is sitting right next to me, now conscious, but with a bag on his head. Kurt, would you do the honors and take off the bag? Of course. Three, two, one. Marty? What are you doing here? Oh, hey, neighbor. How are you? What you? Why are you trying to abduct my daughter? And why did you break into my house? And why did you have a knife? And why? Kurt, take a breath. I'm sure he has an explanation. An explanation for trying to kill my daughter. Well, I was trying to see what kind of light bulbs you had in your house. Marty, if you don't tell us the truth, we will have to bring you this to court. Either you say the truth here right now, or you can go to court and then possibly jail right after for five years. What do you say, buddy? <sighs> Fine. I heard that Kurt had a secret project involved in the case of possible unknown new life on Mars. My wife and I were curious to know what was going on, so we decided to investigate. We tried bringing it up at a couple times to one of your neighborhood gatherings, but you kept switching the topic, so I assumed it was very important. Then, I had a plan to break into your house and steal all the information off your laptop. Except I couldn't find your laptop, and I got distracted by the cake in your fridge. And that's when your daughter walked in on me. I had no idea who she was at first until I took a closer look. But it was too late by then. You guys had arrived. Wow, that's a lot to take in. I knew you were nosy, but not to this extent. So, do you forgive me? Are you kidding me? Trying to threaten my daughter, and you accept me to forgive you? Well, sort of. I thought we were friends. You must be delusional! Marty, you're insane. I think I might have a solution for both of you. How about Marty goes to jail for only three months and he promises not to break into your house again? Then, Kurt, you promise not to be rude to Marty when he comes back home. Fine. I agree. Honey, come on. Help me out with Sally. Have a good rest of your night. Another job well done. Well said, partner. <laughs> Don't forget the bad guy. Poor Sally. Such a sad tale, but such an amazing end to tonight's show. Thank you all for coming to tonight's showing of the Horror Files of Brandon High. Good night, everyone.